On our trip to Mexico, we decided to take the road less traveled, into the deep of Tulum, behind fences for protected land and a dense jungle of trees, is where we found a sacred Mayan village. Okay guys, so we just got here to do the ceremony. This is a very exciting thing for me. I just want to show you these rocks because look how interesting this is. The Mezcal is a ceremony steep in the Mexican heritage. It involves participants sitting in a traditional sweat lodge for health and therapeutic benefits. But for many others, the ceremonies are deeply spiritual and hold more meaning. The mezcals are thought to purify not just the body, but the mind and the soul, healing you from the inside out. Only one name, you put the other people. Probably. Okay. This is four people. Okay. Sweet, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, the kids are coming. Hola. Oh, they don't. Oh. It's here. Perfecto, uh, we found it. My community, bienvenidos. Thank, Thank you, it's you beautiful. So my name is Eduardo, perdón, sorry. Uh, no, no Eduardo. Eduardo. I live here. And I show you my community. Awesome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I don't speak so much English. I, 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 honestly, my English is not very good because I'm not a professional guy. It sounds good. No worries, <laughs> yeah. Good. I, I speak uh, uh, Spanish. Ah. <laughs> uh, welcome, guys. Uh, you want to use the toilet? Yes, I bet it's nothing. Wow. Wow. Now you can swim all around if you want. Oh it's natural. It's like a Mayan pool. Yeah. Wow. If you, uh, if you amazing. want it, you can now you can take a picture. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we are in a literal <laughs> so cool. Mayan village. He was teaching us a little bit of the Mayan language. Do you remember what he said to say good afternoon? Malo. To booking. That means good afternoon Be in careful. Mayan. Look at this, y'all. This is a natural cenote. That's crazy. It's like Literally. So we're in a natural cenote. This means that this was formed just naturally. I don't know how it forms, but it formed. Look at this. Oh my god, look how blue the water is. How clear. That's crazy. Look at all the fish in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Organic cup and she put like a biscuit tea. If you want to try tequila after you leave, we have tequila. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> so Very good. good. Okay. <laughs> you know, remember, uh, good afternoon in the Maya language. Malo, Malo tubo, tubo king. king. And Malo if you want to say king. thank you in the Maya language too, June boutique. June, June boutique. boutique. Okay, the second activity. Uh, Everybody mm, need make tortillas. Oh! oh. <laughs> I say thank you. Ah! Uh, oh. I forgot. Jum. Jum boti. Jum boti. Jum boti. Ah! Okay, you can sit here, guys, please. And she's Angelica. Malo tubu king. Malo tubu king. So we're gonna make tortillas right now. With the finger, remember? Yeah. It's not bad, amigo. Eh? It's good. Yeah. 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 Nice. Wow. If you think that's good, that size is good for you, you yeah. can uh, give it to her. Okay. Awesome. Perfecto. Not bad, eh? Not bad, not, not bad. bad. Nine points. Nine points, I'll take it. Numero <laughs> dos? Numero dos. It came up on my hand. <laughs> you messed it up? Uh, but the ceremony, he make it upside uh, in Mayan. Okay. If you understand what he say or what he make it. Okay, he clean the altar with copal. Okay. No? Okay. And he have in the corner, he have like the jicara with the, you drink your biscuit. Uh -huh. He have the jicara and he put balche. Balche is uh, like tree, water, and honey. It's uh -huh. no alcohol. Okay. Okay. And the mero, he have another one, like the fifth element. Okay. Eh? And he put the offering in the, in the fire. He put it in the fire. Okay. Later, the shaman, the water, uh, the water fire, he played the seashell, the conch, and the four cardinal points, and the mother earth, and the universe. Only you put your hand. He said, the west. Uh, north, 
Mother Air, Universe, just you put your hand. Okay. Okay. Later you can need you you need to walk in the circle. You make a circle, you need to walk, and that is the entrance. And the shaman he clean your body. You want like single or like a couple? It's up to you. That's okay. an option. The position is like this, this is one. And he clean your body with copal. Okay. Later you go inside, you can see it. Number one. Number one. Mm -hmm. I want a taco in this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you, you made you. We were all asked to gather around the altar, where we would be cleansed with copal by the local shaman. Then we were asked to drink, much like in church with the blood of Christ, except this was with herbal tea. So what happened next, you're probably wondering. Well, we one by one filed into the sweat lodge. The entrance was about four and a half feet tall, so you had to crawl to get in. The shamans were shoveling in heavy, hot rocks straight out of the fire into the middle of the lodge where they were going to pour water, which was going to create the steam. The only way we had any light was through that four and a half foot entrance. They covered that with big, heavy blankets making it completely pitch black in there. There was nothing you could see, you could only listen. The walls echoed, it was insane. We couldn't really understand what he was saying. We kind of got the gist of it because he was speaking Mayan the whole time. This was as traditional to the mezcal ceremonies as you can get. The full thing was in Mayan by a shaman. It was really beautiful in there. It kind of felt like you were in a sauna but this was the longest I've ever been in the sauna. It was a whole 55 minutes of embarking into a different culture. And it was really beautiful because you got to experience something that was so sacred and so passed down from generation to generation. And to be able to be a part of something like that was an experience on its own. Um, it did feel like a very releasing thing. It felt very therapeutic. It was a good sweat for 55 minutes. And I definitely think I shed off a part of me that I didn't want to bring back. I think it, that's what this whole thing is about, is leaving a part of you at the ceremony, a part of you that you don't want to come back, a part of you that you want to change. And I think that's what the ceremony did for us. For us, for us, for us. So we just finished the Temescal ceremony. Right now we have to now jump into the cenote to cleanse ourselves. Hey. Woo! We'll check back for the rest of the the mezcal ceremony. So we just got out of the cenote, now it's time for our ceremonial dinner. So let's see what this is all about. Wow. Let's see this chicken. Jake says it falls off the boat. Oh my God. You don't even need a knife. You don't. Mm -mm. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. That's just falling apart. Some chicken in here. Here it is. I'm gonna dunk it in this red sauce. Mm. Oh wow, that is hot. Mm. Who knew Mayan food would be so delicious? Wow, this really is the icing on the cake right here. I'm gonna be coming back here tomorrow. So there it is. Overall, it was a really good experience. I'm so thankful and blessed to have been able to film such a sacred tradition. So thank you, Eduardo, and your family for allowing that. If you enjoyed this video and you want more Tulum videos, smash the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because they're on the way. Pick up some merch at BrennanTaylor.com and show that you support the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. I met her